Hi, I'm Stephen Downs. In this short video, I'll show you how to make new posts on your Grasshopper system. From the admin screen, which we're looking at here, click on New beside the word Post. This will take you to an Edit Post screen. Use this screen to make various types of posts. As you can see from the drop-down, you can create different types of posts, such as links, articles, comments, announcements, etc. The most common kind of post that you'll be creating is the link post. The link post is a way of referring to a resource that's somewhere else on the web. You enter in your title, and then you enter in the link of whatever it may happen to be, the author of that link, and the journal where that link may be found. Then type a short description of that link. If you are creating different types of posts, then you might select different input fields. For example, if you're creating an article, you don't need the link or the author, but you do need a content for the article. This is the long version of the article. If you're creating an announcement, all you need is the title and the text. You can ignore the rest of it. So we'll come back and let's say we're submitting a link and we've entered in our data, we've entered a description. Now we can associate a file with this. The file selection is down here in the form. You can select a file anywhere on the internet simply by typing the URL or you can select a file from your local directories. You can include any kind of file. If it's an image file, it will be displayed with the post. If it's any other kind of file, like an MP3 file, for example, or a movie file, then it will be listed as an enclosure on the post. So let's select an image file from the local directory. I'll click Browse, and then I'll select an image. So this is a nice image. I'll open that up, and now I'll specify a width and an alignment. So I'll make that image 200 pixels wide and we'll put it at the top of the post. So once I've finished that, then I simply update the record. And you can see that the image has shown up on top of the post. Now, if I want to specify when my post is going to be published in the newsletter, I can specify a date. By default, a post will be published today, whatever day that is. But I might want to prepare posts ahead of time for publication later on. If so, I simply select the pub date field. Clicking on it brings up a little calendar and then I can specify that this will be published sometime in the future. I've made a change to my link so I'll update the record again. Finally, if I want to publish RSS, I simply make sure that this button is highlighted and then I update the record and you can see RSS feeds associated with this post have been updated. That's all there is to adding a post on Grasshopper. I'm Stephen Downs.